Hey everyone, it's Rihanna and welcome back to another TV Favourites video. Today I'm going to be talking about all of the TV I've been loving in the month of May for 2016. Now we don't actually have that many TV favourites this month because May has been a crazy month for me. I literally just finished university and have been catching up on some shows and watching some shows religiously. So the first TV favourite I want to discuss is obviously Game of Thrones season 6. If you've not been watching Game of Thrones, stop everything you're doing right now and go watch it. This season is looking to be my favourite season of all seasons of Game of Thrones. It's absolutely killing it. Every single episode you're thinking, I don't know what's going to happen because no one knows what's going to happen because they have gone out of book territory at this point in time, which is madness and I love it because no one knows what's going to happen. Although the writers have hurt me a few times this season already, I'm loving where all of the characters are going and I'm loving how fast paced this season is going. They are just getting stuff done, they're going places, they're getting there, they're getting stuff done and I love it. It's intense. It has me screaming at the screen at all times and Game of Thrones has never been better. That's just my opinion, but I love it. A TV show that has just ended that I absolutely adore is The 100 Season 3. The season finale of Season 3 was not my favourite season finale we've had for The 100. I was expecting it to go in different ways and I guess I'm happy with the way it ended, but I guess the show just had more potential with its season finale. There were certain like characters that I didn't want to do things that they did, like Octavia, spoilers, killing Pike. I kind of hoped she'd get over that. I know it was redemption for spoilers, Lincoln dying, but you know, I love my baby Octavia. and She's amazing in the show. I love Maria Avgropoulos. She's amazing in the show. And I really hope she comes back for season four because we're getting a season four. Yes, it was great to see Lexa back in the season finale. She just came in as a badass, wearing her warrior makeup, being like, nobody is touching my baby Clark. I mean, I'm a Balak shipper, but I can get behind that. I respect Klexa as a ship. Towards the end of the season, there were some kind of filler episodes, which I didn't necessarily like, but I like where all of the characters are going from this point. Although I don't like where they're going with Clark's character, which is weird because she's the main character. I love her character. It just seems like they're recycling the same ideas. Like they always have to blame her character and put all of the pain on her character. And the show is brutal. The show will just, do anything, go anywhere with any of the characters, which I like because it takes risks, but I just need them to let Clark have a breather and just not to blame herself all the time. I love where they went with Bellamy's character this season. He was redeemed and he obviously had to take actions for his responsibilities and all of the actions that he did during the season. I love the fact that we got a Murph for Me reunion in at the end of the season. It's intense, I love the characters. The 100 has been one of my favorite shows for a very long time. If you haven't watched it, Definitely check out the first season. You have to get at least four episodes in before you get completely hooked. But for me, I would still say season two is my favourite season. Season three was still pretty amazing though. I love the whole AI aspect of it and I love where they're going to go in season four. And now on to my main TV favourite for the month of May because Nicole from Nixon Nax and Maria from Cinecop Channel have recommended the show numerous times to me. So I thought, okay, I'm going to sit down and watch Peaky Blinders. The first two seasons are on English Netflix and I believe US Netflix as well and the third season has just started on BBC and there are four episodes out of the third season and now I'm all caught up and I have no idea what to do with my life. So Peaky Blinders follows the notorious Thomas Shelby and his brothers John and Arthur and their gang of Peaky Blinders who are the gangsters of Birmingham in 1922. And to begin with I didn't think Peaky Blinders would be my kind of thing but I watched the first couple of episodes and I was hooked. They are each an hour long and there's six episodes per season. As I said, there's season one and season two out and they're midway through season three. Season one of Peaky Blinders is so fantastic. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. I absolutely loved it. It was so set in stone what this plot was, who the characters were and where they were going with it but it was also unpredictable at the same time, which I loved. The character of Thomas Shelby is so complex because he is this violent, vicious Peaky Blinder, but when he's around certain characters, he'll do separate things and you really see all of the sides to him and Killian Murphy does an amazing job as him. I, I found a new favorite actor. And the whole group and concept of the Peaky Blinders, they will do anything, they are vicious, they are violent, all for the reasoning being either they are a part of the Shelby family or because they are the peaky fucking blinders. And I love it. 
I'm adapting a Birmingham accent from watching too much of this show. As I said, season one of the show is fantastic with its characters. Just for a first season, it is just an incredible start. And season two, it takes a little bit of a different route. I still, still love season two. I love where they go with the characters. I love when they focus on different characters like Aunt Polly and Esme and John and Arthur, who I just love all of these side characters. It's incredible. I love the main character and I love the side characters. And each time with the Peaky Blinders, they kind of skip two years and they want to go into bigger and better empires and Tom Hardy's in season two so just get through season one to go to season two. And season three so far is really set in stone, it has a great concept and I just love the fact that the Peaky Blinders are going bigger and better and they're so set in stone with their characters but they are also unpredictable as hell. So in a short form and in better words go check out Peaky Blinders on Netflix or BBC iPlayer, you will not regret it, this show is fantastic. I have a new obsession. And that is it. Those are my TV favourites for the month of May. Tell me down below in the comments if you've been watching any of the shows I've been watching or what you've been watching throughout this month. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing lots more TV reviews and movie reviews for you guys very, very soon. All my social media links, including my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Letterboxd, will be down below in the description. Come follow me. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.